Hello Calvary family, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I just wanted to take a few moments here to share a few highlights um, that I've had from our Bible engagement study um, and just I've uh, really enjoyed over the past few weeks being able to look in Genesis at the creation story and then this week at the fall of man and being able to um, look at it and then relate it to the gospel and look at it and see how God had a plan even from that moment um, in the fall of man um, to bring us back to right relationship with him. And, you know, as we looked at it with the youth on Wednesday, um, one of the big things that stood out to me um, was how that even though Adam and Eve sinned, um, right after that moment, um, when they were feeling shame and they were hiding from God and they were separated from him, um, after he found them and he was talking to them, um, he already had a plan in place, and it was apparent in what he told them. So in Genesis three, fourteen and 15, it says, Then the Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all animals, domestic and wild. You will crawl on your belly, groveling in the dust as long as you live. And I will cause hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. Um, so this verse I found interesting because as we talked about in youth, um, one of the things that came as a result of Adam and Eve eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil was shame and separation from God. Um, and you know, that same shame and separation that we feel when we sin, um, that was there back then. Um, and you know, when we sin, it causes that shame and separation. And that was why they were hiding. And that is why they had made clothes out of fig leaves um, because they felt shame. And as I thought about that and how in the moment when they were hiding from God and he found them and he was talking with them, uh, he made it apparent in that moment that there would be a way for uh, humankind to come back to him and that he will, desired that relationship with us and didn't want us to be separated from him um, and caught up in our shame from sin. Um, and I just have really thought that that was really cool as we looked at it and how it points to the gospel all the way back in Genesis 3 and how from the moment that man fell into sin and felt that shame and that separation from God, he already had a plan to bring us back to him through what his son Jesus was going to do on the cross. So I just thought that was a really cool uh, tie-in um, to the gospel and what Jesus did for us. Um, and it just really struck me this week as we went through it. And I hope that all of you who are going through the Bible Engagement Project, whether it be with a small group or just on your own, are able to find those little uh, nuggets that point you to Jesus and point to the cross because they are all over throughout the whole Bible. Um, and it's really interesting, really cool when you're able to find them and relate them back um, to the cross. Uh, and then real quick, uh, I just need to share with you that on Sunday during the business meeting, there will be child care provided um, and that there will be actually lunch provided for the kids as well. Um, so we're not providing lunch for the adults because, you know, we got to get you guys out quick. Um, but we got to provide lunch for the kids because we don't want to have to deal with a bunch of hungry, angry kids. I'm sure you guys don't want to deal with that on your way home. So uh, just make sure you come out. It should be really quick. Um, and we're hoping to uh, get done with all our business and get you guys on the road. So. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.